Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a polymer clay teapot charm. This is one of my most requested charm tutorials, so I'm finally getting to it, hooray! For any of you who haven't seen my teapot charms, here are a few of them, and all these are available for sale in my Etsy shop. The materials you'll need to make these are very simple. You'll need polymer clay. It must have baking instructions on the wrapper, so it's an oven-baked clay and you can only bake it in the oven or the toaster oven. Do not put it in the microwave. You can also use some clay tools which you can find at any craft store or you can use simple things you find around the house such as toothpicks. To make this teapot you'll need five pieces of one color, one big piece of it for the base of the pot, one for the handle, the spout, and two for the lid. And then I have over here where my finger was hiding it this little pink and black dot are going to be used for the flower. You can put any design on that you want, but I'm going to teach you how to do a flower. First, go ahead and make the base shape, and you're just going to make it rounded and make the top go in a little bit further than the middle part, and don't drop everything over there. Next, go ahead and roll out a piece for the handle. When you do this, make sure one side of it is a little thinner than the other. You're going to stick the thicker part of this on the top, curve it down, and put the thin part on the bottom like so. Make sure you're joining the clay well enough so that it forms a good bond. Next, roll out another piece and this is going to be for the spout. Again, make one end of it thinner than the other. Stick that thin part down like so and go ahead and bend the spout down a little. Then take a tool, this is a pin, and form a little indent in the spout. Next, roll out a ball and flatten it for the lid. Then take the smaller ball and put that on top. Again, you can put any design you want, but I'm going to do a flower, so Flatten out a piece of clay into a circle. Then with some sort of tool, you're going to make the petals by indenting around the edges. You'll need five indents for five petals. Push this on to the front of the teapot. Once it's on there, you can redefine the petals by drawing the lines in again. Finally, just put the little dot in the middle and you have a pretty flower design. Now, if you want to make this into a charm, just insert an eye pin into the top. You're going to have to trim it down with some wire cutters and then just press it in the top and make sure that it's not wiggling around before you bake. You do put this in before you bake it. You can bake metal right in the oven. I don't want to be redundant and put this in every single video, so if you don't know how to do this, check out my clay dino tutorial and you will see an example of how to put an eye pin in. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out all of my links in the down bar and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Um, I said in a previous video, that's Callie's tail. Callie's a cat. <laughs> hey, Blackie. This is Blackie. Blackie's drinking water from rocks, even though we give him water bottles. Water bottles? Oh, my goodness. We give him water, bowls of water. <laughs> the cats drink from water bottles now. Oh, no. Ah! Yeah.